Since 1999, Nigeria's electoral processes have been rattled by one form of violence or the other. Just that year alone, 80 persons died in the election that ushered in the country's democracy and fourth republic, according to a report by a CSO, Kimpact Development Initiative. The organization has now been tracking pre-election violence ahead of the 2023 polls, and it says that 2,175 incidents of violence were tracked between January and December 2022, with most occurring during and after party primaries. The CSO has brought together stakeholders here in Abuja to discuss ways to curb electoral violence using available data on pre-election security risk assessment. We have also seen INEC first of all admit the challenge of securing the polls, but also talk about plans to make sure that they do all that's possible to ensure that the elections hold within this challenging context. And that is a lot of reason to be optimistic. We started by carrying out our threat analysis all over the Federation. And we have continued to update these threats as this will help us in our deployment of uh, personnel and uh, resources. And not only that, we are working closely with other security agencies to ensure that they will carry out a well harmonized uh, deployment of personnel. It is therefore the responsibility of all stakeholders who are invested in this election to change the incentives around electoral violence and electoral offenses, and to hold their own people accountable for their actions. The report also shows that electoral violence occurred more in southern part of the country, while northern Nigeria experienced high cases of non-electoral violence. Even if you have five electoral violence in a year, it still does not worth it. Not to talk of these huge numbers we are having. We can have election peacefully. Election is supposed to be a civic affair. The group says data already collated in January 2023 alone reveals that 25 cases of violent acts have already been recorded in about 80 local government areas across the country. There are fears that this figure will continue to rise as the election date draws near. They need to go ahead with issue-based campaign, not attack on personality. They need to state what they want to do and let the Nigerian, let the Nigerian decide. They don't also need to force people to vote for them. When rampant vote buying goes unaddressed, as we saw in Akiti and Oshun, when campaign property is systematically destroyed with little consequence, it creates an environment of impunity. Stakeholders say proper training of security agents and party officials will help in eliminating electoral violence. The CSO is also appealing to various political parties to focus on issue-based campaigns and not mudslinging or personality attacks. Georgina Ndukwe Arise News.